Hello and welcome PML fans. I am your host, Joe Zamora, admin of PML and also the coach of the Tartriots. Um, I'm here with Eric Griscow. I already fucked up the last name. Uh, introduce yourself. <laughs> um, I'm Eric Griscoviak. There we go. Coach of the San Diego Super Char Charizards. Oh, man. That was embarrassing. I went over the last name and everything, and I still got it wrong. I get that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, how you doing, man? You having a good day so far? Yeah, I'm good. I already had my coffee, so I'm good to go. All right, sweet. Well, I guess we can go ahead and start off with um, what's your draft history? Um, I've been doing draft leagues for probably four or five years. I, I'm in two different singles outside of this one and then a doubles league, so I have some pretty good experience. Um, Draft-wise, I've only had one luck, one lucky draft where I was able to make playoffs, but I've been pretty consistent and competitive throughout. Okay. And um, what's the story behind your logo? Um, so Trollzord is my favorite Pokemon ever since Pokemon Red when I first got it when I was like five or four. Um, when they made Mega Evolutions, Trollzord was one of the ones that I always had to get. And when they decided to make uh, Mega Trollzord X black and blue, I kind of fell in love with that look. Um, and then from San Diego, California, and I kind of took the team name from an old song, old, an old song that they did for San Diego Chargers from, uh, ooh, what's that band name? Uh, some, I forget the band, but it's like a 70s song Yeah. that they did. So I just kind of took it off and played it off that and it kind of just rolled and I kind of stuck with it. Yeah, that's the first thing I thought of whenever I read the name. I was like, San Diego Super Charizards. So yeah, thought, that, oh, the Ramones, that's who it is. Oh, the yeah. The Ramones is the band, yeah. That So that's why I was like, you know what, I like that name. It, it rolls off the tongue real nicely. Yeah. And then I was just like, oh, that's cool. All right, well, so have you been using this logo ever since you started Draft Leagues? Yeah, I probably had one my full steal. Well, um, I probably did something really stupid and chose some random mom that was on my last roll. <laughs> And just kind of did that, and I was like, God, God, this sucks, this is boring, I'm not going to do this anymore. Yeah. So, so I could just kind of made it easier, and I was just like, okay, I'm like the only person from California in this draft league, so I can I can use my hometown, and then I'm just going to use Trollzord, because that's a mom that I've always loved. And then I had a guy that did logos in the league, and he was like, oh, I can make it for you. I'm like, okay, cool. And he, um, he had, he just ended up doing the Mega Trolls order, and I loved it because it was black and the blue, and I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I just stuck with it. Oh, yeah. I, I'm assuming, are you a Char uh, Chargers fan? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, y'all got a great quarterback this season, so. Yeah, big things will come, and big things will be coming. All right, and uh, a second, a follow-up question to the logo thing. Uh, would you ever change it? Ugh. <sighs> I don't know. I, I've, uh, I never really thought of it. Um, if I did change it, I just don't know what I would do. That's the only thing. Right. Um, yeah. It's just one of those off-the-wall questions that I want to get people off, off guard with. Because yeah. it's like, man, I don't know. Because like, I'm pretty stuck with mine, too. So it's just like, I, I know I wouldn't change mine. Yeah, I don't think I would. I mean, the only thing I can think of is shiny drift bloom is blue and blue and yellow, and that's really the Chargers colors. So maybe that's something I would do, but I don't see it being like something I would want to stick with. Yeah, San Diego Super Drift Blooms don't roll off the tongue. No, it's not as good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, how do you feel PML will be different from other drafts? So you know we have our. Uh, our own draft style, how we just go in order. And most people are like, that's kind of weird. And then once they do it, they get used to it. I don't know if they end up liking it, but they get used to it. 
Yeah, so I play a lot of fantasy sports, so I'm used to um, dra uh, drafting in a certain order instead of using points, even though that's what I'm used to doing in Pokemon draft. Mm -hmm. um, so the draft style won't really affect me as much. It might make it a little bit easier because I can just look and choose instead of trying to um, calculate how many points I've had, how many points I have, and how many points I use, and how many points I have left. Mm -hmm. So that might be a little easier on my end to get my picks out quicker. Um, but I think I'll be fine. I mean, I've played Pokemon long enough that I have a lot of different strategies I'm willing to evil go with that I know how to use or that I've seen used and I can test them out for the first time competitively and that's something I'm open to doing. Oh yeah, it's always fun to use new mods in the draft format. Yeah. Alright man, well who do you expect to take as your number one pick? Uh, okay, so I am stuck in the middle. <laughs> Dead <laughs> in the middle. I'm 8 out of 16 and I'm just like I don't like the middle. I don't like the middle of fancy drafts when I do swords. I just... It's because you don't... Because you have to wait longer. I mean, I know when you're in the front and the bottom... Uh, when you're on the top and the bottom of the draft, you, you have to wait longer to get, like, your fourth pick. But you can go back to back and have an idea what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I'm probably going to stick with somebody I know in the first round. Someone I'm comfortable with and someone I know I can build around. Okay. You don't have to give out the mind because I know it, it's going to be part of the draft process. But Yeah, you know, um, Evil Cl uh, Clefairy is the guy to go to. <laughs> <laughs> Clefable? Yeah, you can't evolve that. You can put, uh, you can put a good couple different stuff on that, but you can't do anything tricky with it. Yeah. Well, how do you? I think everybody. Well, how do Go you? Ahead, you're good. Oh, sorry. How do you feel about the tiers? Have you looked them over? Uh, I glanced at them. Um, there were some ones where I was like, "Oh, usually he's in like tier two and not tier one, or tier four and not tier three. Um, I am used to having like six different tiers to look at and longer lists, so it's kind of easier to figure out what I'm going to do. I'll probably look a little... I'll probably look better a little closer to the draft and figure it out from there. Okay. Alright, here we go. I have... What is your favorite battle strategy? Uh, for the longest time, I did not understand why people would make mons that stalled out. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, why are you doing this? Like, when you use um, Corsola Galagal, the ghost one, yeah, I have a friend that showed me his move set for, and I'm like, why are you doing that? He six owed me with it. Like yeah. I looked at it, he's like, oh, you, oh, you want to try it? I'm like, sure, whatever. It's a ghost type. I know what I'm doing. No, he he six owed me with it. And I'm just like, what the fuck did you do? Yeah, that, <laughs> like those sets are ridiculous, man. Yeah. Um, so I've kind of learned how to use Stalls Battle. I'm not the one to really use it in a draft league. Um, I like bulkier sets, even though they're slower. I tend to pick a lot of slower mons, and that's my bad. and Really a bad draft strategy on my own. Um, but it does kind of work out in the end, because I can take a couple hits, and then I can do a little bit more damage. Yeah, that's always good, too. And then both your mons do sometimes have priority moves you can take advantage of. Yeah, and I kind of try and stick with those well, because if I can get a good priority and then use it as a knockout move, then I am I feel like I'm pretty set. Yeah, all right, man. Well, is there a specific mon you're trying to get to fit your <sighs> scheme? Besides Trollzord? I mean... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm... Yeah, um, if I could get any specific, I, I really like dragon types, um, I've always loved dragon types, I'm pretty comfortable using almost any dragon if I can get my hands on it, 
so I don't have to take him in the first round unless there's someone that fell to me somehow, some way. Um, there was a draft where I was able to get Lillaboom and Latios, and that really worked out well for me. Mm -hmm. um, so if I could get my hands on maybe just Rillaboom, because grass types are a little tough to come around. For Especially good use. ones. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can G Max Lillaboom, and you can you can pretty much just run your battle from there. But I don't know if there's one. Sp uh, sp I hate this word. S sp uh, sword. I'm just gonna say sword. Yeah. A uh, sword. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, sword mon that I'm eyeing particularly. If I was in the top half or the bottom half, like the top three or bottom three, I would probably have more of an idea of like this is who I want. Where if, since I'm in the middle, I'm kind of just like what what I can get is what I can get, and that's what I'm going to roll with. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, me me drafting in the middle was like three years in a row. I was like, fuck me. Yeah, it sucks because you can't really make a draft strategy for it. No, you can't. It's just kind of just what falls there is falls there. And sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't. Yeah. And I feel, and I'm not the most luckiest person. So I feel like I'm just going to get stuck with someone that I know how to use, but I won't know how to use, uh, that I don't really use. So it wouldn't be a home run pick for me. So I'm just going to go with what I can get and hopefully I can pick up a couple wins with it. Yeah. All right, and then um, is there someone in PML you're excited to battle? Is there people you've seen before and you're just excited to battle one of them or you just want to battle someone new? So I've been in a couple draft leagues with Chris B. Um, and singles, in a single league, he actually destroyed me and I did not know what to do. I don't think I prepped very, very well for it that week. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of revenge would be nice, even if it's a 3-0 three, three loss. <laughs> Um, and he, he knows we've battled before. He, he's a great battler. He's a great competitor and he knows what I do, but to get some kind of revenge would be great. Um, he can destroy me in any doubles battle we do. I don't really care, but I need to, I need to keep some kind of pride when I do singles battles. Cause that's kind of my bread and butter. Yeah. I, I'm, I feel like I'm in the same boat with that, but all right, we got a rivalry going on already <laughs> before the season even starts. But all right, man, um, that's all the questions I have. Um, thank you for joining us today. Yeah. And uh, we'll do. We'll catch up with you after the draft. Sounds good. All right, man. Have a good day. Talk to you. You too.